Then this ebony chaos, beguiling my sad fancy into smiling, by the grave and stern decorum of the countenance it wore. Though thy crest be shorn and shaven, thou, I said, art sure no craven, ghastly grim and ancient chaos wandering from the nightly shore. Tell me what thy lordly name is on the night's plutonian shore, quoth the chaos, nevermore. Chaos! Who said anything about chaos? There's not going to be any chaos today. Except for that Ohugorn. That was pretty chaotic. Now it's time for that dupe making music. Iceland, and I hope that headache gets a little bit better. Yes. Happy Wednesday. Did I just see a what up in the chat? Come on. Come on. We're not going to... There's no... There's no wutting ups. Man. Feels bad, man. Welcome back. Beautiful, beautiful nerds. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing half as good as I am. Doing great. You know, now there's a lot of what ups. Yeah. Here it is, uh, what, two minutes into the stream and I've lost control of chat. That didn't take long. Pineapple Express in with the 100 bits. Thank you very much. Auto in with the early pandiculate and the drink. Cheers to you, Auto. I appreciate you. <laughs> David Pro, first time chatter with a what up. Aspect Tiamat with a hundred bits says, here we go again. Brian Matt says super coolant. We'll see. Oh, yes. We shall see. Oh, my goodness. Swarzes! Swarzes! I need you to sign out of your PayPal. And then change the password to something you do not know. Go back. Start, start over. Swarzes in with 10 gifted tier 3 subs. My goodness. My goodness, Swarzes. My sub points are out of... In, they're just out of the world this month. It's too many tier threes, Swarzes. Dave Hammer. In with the five gifted sub bomb. Choo-choo. As fitting, here comes the train. Dave Hammer brought it in. Anonymous gifter in with a gifted sub. Thank you, Anonymous. I appreciate you. <laughs> Rem says, sorry, Echo, not sorry. <laughs> Brian says, I think we're subbing people from other streams at this point. I know. I mean, this is incredulous. I don't even know the word. Stream element. Okay. Sulfur. Go join Swarzes. Go sit in the corner. You now need your remediation class. Sulfur in with five gifted tier three subs. That is in. That's way too much. Sulfur. That's way too much. You already do too much over on the Patreon. Don't come over here and start re doing too much, too. Thank you, Silver. Happy hump day. Aspect Tiamat in with a gifted sub. I appreciate you, Aspect Tiamat. Dex 3D, leader of the Council of Meeps with 100 bits. Dex. For all those folks in the crowd, tell them how many hours you have in Ani. Dave just hit 650 sub gifts. New icon unlocked. Way to go, bud. I appreciate you. 
First time chatter, Hailers12, giving thanks to uh, Stream Elements the Bot, aka your friend and mine, Sulfur, for the tier three submarino. My goodness, Swarz. Swarz says, I'm going to time you out. 14 more gifted subs. My goodness, Swarz says. Chat, I have to work first, okay? This is too, too buku. Too buku. <laughs> Swarz says, with the 14 gifted subs. Nutcakes. Lord Sydney in with the follow. Welcome, Lord Sydney. It's not okay. Sometimes it is like this. Okay, but welcome to the chaos nonetheless. Lord Sydney also with a gifted sub. Thanks for adding to the chaos. Like, see, do you see the examples you're setting? Do you see what you're doing, chat? Okay, I can't even keep up. I can't even keep up. This is ridiculous. Brian Matt in with five gifted subs. Thank you, Brian. You're ridiculous. Go join your friends in the corner. We're going to have a remediation class on how to log out of your PayPal. <laughs> Alex says, hello, bro, Chill Clarnson. <laughs> oh, man. Dex says, a mere 6,300 hours. I think it's sufficient to say that Dex is no longer in the tutorial. I'm trying to catch up, chat. I honestly am. Just not overthink in with the gifted sub. Thank you, just not overthink. I appreciate you. Okay, Sulfur. Stream Elements the Bot with 21 gifted subs. What is a streamer supposed to say to this level of support? I, I, I haven't attended that class yet. I have no idea. Sulfur, thank you very, very much. I appreciate you. Look at all them sub gifts. <laughs> Zenzenia. Continue in there, sub. I appreciate it, Zenzenia. Kind of noobish. In with 100 bits for Sunday stream. Thank you, newbie. I appreciate you. David Perm in with the Twitch Prime. Three months for David Perm. Oh my gosh. Swarzes, you gotta stop. Swarzes in with another. 30 gifted subs. I, I don't... Thank you, Swarzes. I appreciate you. Lord Sydney, first time chatter, said, I meant to subscribe later in the stream, but someone gifted me the sub, so I guess I'll give someone instead. Thank you, Lord Sydney. I appreciate you. First time chatter, welcome. I'm not even... Not even close to being caught up yet. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Brian Matt says, if you don't have a sub at this point, then don't go to Vegas. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. Is there going to be a new record 16 minutes in the stream? Asked Total Hermit. I hope not. Okay. I really, really hope not. It's too much. It's too much. Sulfur says, look, is that too loud? Is the dupe making music too loud? It feels too loud. Just take a look at this. Maybe just that one song. Maybe we take that one song out of the dupe making music mix. Says, look, you started the stream by saying there will be no chaos. Clearly, we need to show you that that's not why we are here. Zimmy99 says 6,300 hours is mid game. <laughs> Chat, I, I, let me catch up first. Anonymous gifter with five gifted subs. Anonymous, big squeezes. Menoli, LOL with the follow, welcome. Appreciate you coming in. 
<laughs> what can I say except you're welcome. <laughs> Sulfur says, you give a flustered thank you, exactly like you just did. <laughs> thank you, Sulfur. Auto in with the 100 bits. How many subs do we need to gift for Brocho to come out and play? Zero. And here's the reason. Because they didn't have gifted subs back then. Well, they may have. I just didn't get any. <laughs> Swarz is in with another gifted sub. This one went to someone. <laughs> Can't make it up, folks. Brian Matt says, if we beat the hype chain record, we get a rap call. This is not a, a, a true statement. This is not a true statement. Dave Hammer about to hit the 20 months tomorrow. Way to go, Dave. First time chatters. Manoli, Manoli LOL says, hello, what is happening here? <laughs> Goats Jam in with the first time chat saying thank you for the sub. Zoxan, welcome back. Says, good morning, all. Happy to finally catch a stream live. We're glad you're here. Lug22. I'm sorry um, it took me so long to get to your resub. Um, especially one with 17 months, Lug. Um, you, can you can blame all the aforementioned people who are now sitting in the corner because they've made the chat entirely too long. Like, this, this resub was probably like 20 minutes ago, and I'm just now getting to it. Lug, thank you for the 17 months. I appreciate you. Oh my goodness. Sulfur! Sulfur in with another seven gifted subs. Thank you, Sulfur. I appreciate you. But seriously, you do too much. Hendu says it's too loud too. Yeah, it's just that one song. I don't know which one it was, but next time we catch it, everybody yell at me. Hopefully we're not in the middle of a hype train so I can get in there and remove it. Soren Hero with a gifted sub. I appreciate you, Soren Hero. I appreciate it. <laughs> Crypto says, I go to the bathroom and there's a hype train. <laughs> oh, man. Just not overthink. In with 300 glorious biddies. Thank you, just not overthink. Sulfur, in with another gifted sub. Don't! I don't even... Swarzet, with another five gifted subs. Animals. Animals! Soren Hero in with 500 more biddies. Thank you, Soren Hero. I appreciate you. <laughs> Lucky Wolf says, okay, for real. If you don't get a sub, your luck is bad. Like, bad. <laughs> uh... I've been... Ello Puppet says... Hello, Puppet, who's, by the way, not subbed, says they are more subs in chat than non-subs. What's incredible about that is it's been pretty constantly like that for about a year. I'd say about a year, year and a half at least. I've been very, very fortunate. Wikipedia's. Wikipedia's in with the 10 months. Is happy to be a part of the chaos. If we're happy you are a part of it, a part of it as well. Thank you for the 10 months. Almost to that Echoversary. I'm still trying to get caught up, chat. I don't even know where the ending is. I know we finished the hype train, but I'm trying to get to the point where it gives me my the, the stats so I can give them to you. Pungit said, this song is nice and comfy. Who knows when that was, though? <laughs> oh. Uh, 
Anonymous Gifter in with another gifted sub. This one went to Mr. Brain. Thank you, Anonymous. I appreciate you. <laughs> Brian says, chat's giving another meeting to March Madness this week. Ugh. Sulfur, that's not the reason why I said that. Sulfur just gifted a gifted sub to Elo Puppet. Thank you, Sulfur. Uh oh, this one's hard to read. I gotta get closer. You know Hexium SG in with the follow. Welcome in. <laughs> First time chatter. Fiddler head crab on the roof. Do you see what they did there, chat? Fiddler head crab on the roof. Says thank you, Swart, for the gifted sub. <laughs> Just not overthink. Says you'll take our money and you will like it. Hero Sheen! Hero Sheen in with the follow. Welcome. Stream holds the bot. AKA Sulfur says, I know that's not why you said it. You do not need to ask for subs or even <laughs> allow others to suggest subbing. I just wanted to tease you a bit. <laughs> Thank you, Sulfur. Aspect Tiamat in with a gifted sub. This one went to Thaladine. Thank you, Aspect Tiamat. I appreciate you. First time chatter. You knew. <laughs> you knew. Unnil Hexium SG says, Hi, Echo. I love watching your playthroughs. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I appreciate that very much. Uh, by the way, we are about to hit a milestone. We are at 3,999 subs on the Echo Ridge Unabridged channel. So if you are not subbed to the Echo Ridge Unabridged, which is not the standard YouTubes, by the way, go get your sub on. In case you ever want to watch with the Vodlanders. We ace our says, woohoo, another 12 hour stream. No. <laughs> Funkin says, okay, Echo, you can talk about your day now. I think the crazy is over. <laughs> oh, the day was good. The day was good. Well, the day. So I have been having some issues sleeping. All right. I typically have issues sleeping. Uh, recently, the issues have intensified, but. I've been trying to fix the schedule. I need to fix the schedule because I think I can actually produce even more content if, you know, I get up a lot earlier. So I've been working on it, except I know I'm running out of time to work on it because I have to get up tomorrow. Are you ready for this? At 5.30 a.m. Because I have to catch a plane flight that's leaving at 7.40. Uh, that means I have to drive to the airport, get to the airport, do all the check in things, you know, there's a half a chance that I'm just going to miss this flight. All right, let's be real. Which means I decided I was going to stay up a little later last night because I was like, okay, here's my theory. I'll stay up later last night and get up earlier. So I'm super tired tonight. So hopefully I'll fall asleep. It is. I don't know if the strategy is going to work. Okay. Okay because I ended up putting on like saving, saving private Ryan and, you know, sipping on a bourbon. And so I still didn't get up early. So now, and because I didn't get up early, I didn't get to go to the gym. I'm not going to be working out on my little, my little trip. So that means I only got two workouts in this week. It's all been so hectic. I know, I know. Sleep math is the worst math. <laughs> Behind ex-wife math, says Brian Matt. Oh, I love that. Lucky Wolf says, a week till millennia is out. Are you going to play more? I am going to play more. I enjoyed watching you play that game. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. I think, uh, I think you may be in luck. Where am I going? I'm, I'm heading to PAX. PAX East. 
It's not going to, uh, which is not going to interrupt the YouTube production, but it will interrupt the Twitch. I will not be streaming on Friday or on Sunday. So we'll, I will see you guys again next Wednesday. I know. I know. I'm upset about it too. Streaming for me is, what is it? Cathartic? Cathargic. Cathartic is not cathargic. It's cathargic for me. This is like my own personal therapy session. I appreciate it. Can I lay down on the couch now? Can somebody with soft, soft tones speak to me? Edu Nask, first time chatter, says, I was just watching the video of the 12 hour stream. Thank you, by the way. And someone mentioned Brothgar. Got to go back and watch some videos. Just awesome. That's good stuff. Punkin says, I believe he's going to PAX to meet a bunch of awesome people. That remains to be seen, right? I have a certain amount of trepidation. It's probably why my brain's been going so buzzy. Buzzy Buzzy B is the brain. <laughs> Puzzliness says, have fun. Thank you very much. Otaku says, I'm here for Echo in the chat. Games are icing on the cake. Thank you, Otaku. I missed an alert. I'm so... There was too much? I don't see what I missed. I'm still catching... I'm still scrolling. Where is PAX East? It is in Boston. We can do scream therapy. <laughs> oh. Doff says no weekend streams, not even from that pink lady. <laughs> Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Oh, I didn't miss anything, says Alex. Naz was complaining that I used all the alerts. Well played, Alex. <laughs> Lucky Wolf says, can you explain PAX for those who don't know what the event is? Yeah, absolutely. It's a giant um, video game expo. It's like a, a big con, um, but a lot of game developers, a lot of people go there to try demos of the games. The problem is the lines are gonna be really big, really quick. Um, how many voles will we hide in Pumpkin's hotel room? <laughs> well, Duncan has, what are we up to? Almost 60? When will the Echo crew video be online? Oh, the Chaos crew video. Um, I have it slated to produce next week, so it will probably be on Tuesday or Wednesday of next week when you'll see the Chaos Crew video. <laughs> 60 puppies. Yay! <laughs> All right, I'm finally caught up in chat. If I missed your follow, if I missed anything, please let me know so I can thank you accordingly. For a second, even my stream manager was just going nuts. It was just scrolling and I couldn't keep up with it. Yeah, Dave, that's not a regular, we don't use that command as far as like what game we're playing, which we probably should, but. <laughs> That was just the command I used for the, um, the, my link for Millennia. Swarzay says, what kind of chaos will we be having today? Um, we actually, I'm excited about it. I think we're going to be able to grab some super coolant. Um, somebody in chat a lot earlier said 
something about some niobium. But I think in my search for late game materials, I always go super coolant first because super coolant helps you get everything else. Nuclear reacting, nuclear. Sulfur says, I got sad when I learned gifted subs are not added to the credits roll. Um, no, they're not. And the reason why is because, which it's difficult too, because there's a, a potential for people who gift subs, if they are themselves not subbed, not to appear on the credits roll. But for instance, right now, we have 1,329 subscribers in the channel. Right. I've always told you I'll be transparent every once in a while. We'll talk, we can talk numbers. I have 1,329 subscribers. Let me give you a, just a, just an idea. This is from last week. I haven't pulled the credits since the last video. I want to make sure there's no like hidden information in this. Let me scrub it real quick. Yeah, th this is safe. All right, so what happens? I build. For those of you who like to see behind the scenes, you're gonna you're gonna really like this. Um, I build the credits by downloading giant CSV files. This one is from Twitch, right? I, Im I import it, I'm able to sort it, and right now, so from last week, do you see how long this is? It's still going. This is last week's, of course. There is no possible way I could put all the people who were gifted a sub into a credits roll, and to be quite honest, I don't know if it's appropriate either because of the simple fact that um, they didn't do anything specifically to provide that extra support that the credits is meant for, right? Now, with that being said, so what I do is I hit the filter and I come down here and I just uncheck gifted, boom. And that's how I get the YouTube stuff. I can't open the other ones because they do have personal information. Um, but I have the same thing for Patreon and I have the same thing for YouTube. YouTube doesn't have any personal information, but yeah. And that, I normally do that because that takes a little while. I normally try to do that once a week. Do gifters get a spot? No, um, because I have no way of knowing who gifted by pulling it from, um, by pulling it down from Twitch. The only thing I can get from Twitch is current subs. Great question, Lucky Wolf. But I'd like, um, there are ways to incorporate using some third-party tools, all the people who gave bits, all the people who gave gifted subs, and they run like a specialized uh, credits just for Twitch. But I have not, I have not gotten that far yet. Dave, you can, um, I appreciate that command. You can edit the game command to do that same thing. That's a good one. I like it. Valkyrie says, do I use macros on it? Um, I don't think so. What do you, what kind of macro are you talking about? Oh, to set up a macro that does all that for me. Lord Sydney says, how does that system work for people who got gifted a sub and then continued sub? It, as soon as they continue their sub, they will then appear as either a prime or a uh, paid sub. So then it would pop on the list.
Newbie says, okay, Prime subs are on there, but if I haven't seen my name, but I haven't seen my name on the vids, I watch the VODs on the days you're not streaming in the background so I can see things I missed during the stream. Um, you should be on there. Is it because your last, maybe you had a gifted sub last before the last time you did Prime? Kinda. Yeah, you're on there. You should be towards the top of the second column. You want to see it? A lot of people miss them, right? Dun, 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 dun. Everybody yell when you see Kinda Noobish. I see it. I saw it. I thought I could pause that, but I can't pause it on the flip. <laughs> hey. Anonymous gifter with a gifted sub a few minutes ago. Thank you, Anonymous. Lord Sydney in with a gifted sub as well. Thank you, Lord Sydney. Swarzez back at it again. This one going to Kitsune one. Thank you, Swarzez. Solbian in with a prime. I appreciate it, Solbian. Lucky Wolf says it just sucks for those that get it, get a sub and then gift a sub because they got one. No, I feel you, Lucky Wolf. That they, it's true. And it's, you know, it all comes back down to the, you know, the gifted things. It would be nice if I, if Twitch had more stats for me like that. Like show me a list of the people who do any time during the month, just like I can pull a sub report, if, Twi if Twitch would have that list available, um, give me a, a report of all those users who gave bits, all those users who gave gifted subs, I'd throw them on there in a second. But Twitch just doesn't keep that data for some reason. Valkyrie says a macro that enables you to update a list a lot faster with probably a connection to Twitch, YouTube, Patreon. Man, that'd be awesome to have an API hook into those. Hit a button. And it just, that would be amazing, Valkyrie. I, I don't even know if that's possible. And to be honest, even if it was, I doubt I even have time to sit there and do all that. To, to make the macro even. You should see my to-do list. It's stupid. I did get a new toy though. I did get a new toy. I don't know if I have enough slack. Look at this beast. Huh? The Stream Deck XL. Mmm. Mm, it makes me feel so warm and fuzzy. Um, I wanted another Stream Deck. One that was right by my left hand. So now I can instantly, um, like when we're over here, I can just whoop, 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 whoop. And it's a lot more seamless than me having to bend over to get over there. Plus, with this big one, I can put all of the moving the camera around on one page with the zooms. So I'm really happy about it. And now I'm behind on chat again. Way to go, streamer. Rob Royce is wrapping the names on the credits is the right way to thank people. <laughs> thank you, Dave. I appreciate the, uh, the command work. Yeah, it just... Maybe one day Twitch will, uh, maybe I'll put it in the suggestions box for Twitch, but it's funny that they, they don't have that information because it, it feels like 
if stream elements, well, I, I bet you stream elements, the bot, not sulfur, stream elements, the actual bot pulls it real time. Kitsune Wan says, I might have missed it in your piping video. Why did you choose to go for liquid filters over liquid shutoffs? I'm not sure what you mean, Kitsune Wan. Because I'm, those filters are actually filtering out the appropriate liquid at the spot where they need to drop that liquid into the tank. Liz! Hello, Weird Dreams! You didn't bring the other one, did you? Is he... Is he here? Turtle says, I can make a macro that would take the CSV file and auto-do everything for you. I, I already can do that. The CSV file that I download... I literally just copy it and it's pasted right into my working doc. It's called the Echo Planner. That doesn't take the time. Weird Dream says, have I pendiculated recently? I have recently pendiculated. <laughs> Are we about ready for the roll call? I think we're about ready. I appreciate all the questions, though, and the feedback. Maybe... I don't know. So, there's a part of me that thinks... Because I would still do all that work for the YouTubes themselves, right? And I think the Twitch people would still want to be recognized in the YouTube videos. But the, the credits roll on the... The automatic credits roller that you can you see on some streams that just pull live. It doesn't get everything, but it normally does a decent job. Um, that wouldn't include all the YouTube and Patreons. And so I, my envi I envisioned the idea was the fact that I'm thanking everybody across the Echo Rage gaming spectrum. You know. It helps tie everything in. Weird Dream says, can I say something? I hate credits on YouTube videos. I'm like, and we move that bar. We move that bar? I don't know, but we move that bar. I have to I, I have to put credits on the YouTube video. I have no other way of thanking people. Right? And I I, I can't just I can't just not thank people. That's that's not how my, my brain works. Oh, the progress bar in the video. <laughs> Rob Roy says again, rap is an option. <laughs> All right, you glorious, glorious people. We're getting ready to do a roll call, which is one of the ways that I use to say thank you for everybody spending their most valuable resource. Do you see the, the theme? I like saying thank you. And as a way of saying thank you, we do this roll call. In order to be included in the roll call, because some people may not want to, all you have to do is say something in chat. A lot of people like to do, um, you know, the name of the last game they played. Huh? And no, just because I'm trying to read the roll call faster does not mean I'm trying to wrap it. <laughs> and Rem found another way to say Clemson. <laughs> I love it. Oh. <laughs> Rem 
Returning chatter, Navin R. Welcome. Happy Wednesday and a glory. David Perm literally waited for me to talk, start talking, then was like, wham, danger, Will Robinson. <laughs> I love it. Oh, happy Wednesday and welcome, one and all, to another glorious, fun filled evening with some oxygen not included. And maybe some super coolant. Welcome to Alex Antec Auto 64,852, Barbario, Batner, Brian Matt 42, Kaluna Bites, Cobweb and Rose, Dark Wizard, David Perm, Dex 3D, Dolph 87, both members of the Council of Meeps, Dog Barian, Dr. Dangerous, Ed Hawkin, El Turtle Lermit, Arisia Gaming, Forever Lost in Oz, FRD Dot, Ronama, Fair Lynn, Golden Creations Hawaii, Gonzi, Gun Griffin, Hanola, Hungry Guru, Hungry Guru, Icho Trollet, Just Not Overthink, Kind of Nubis 85, Kitsune Wan, Lady Anime Yuki, Lily the Pyromaniac, Lokar 37, Lucky Wolf 908, Luscious, hmm? Luscious, <laughs> it's the alliteration ones that can get tricky. Luscious Lucian. There we go. Melly B. Manoli LOL. Miss Shay Shay. Welcome back. Mr. Brain. Mr. Rusty 8684. Navin R. Nolan. Nuki Nuclear. Otaku 74. Pumpkin of the Pie. Puzzlina. Queen Calero. Remy May. Rythian. Rob Roy 8065. Rosie Farfi. Rosie Farfi. Royster, Silver Fox 342, Skmini, Suarez Zyken, Stream Elements, The Bot, Stream Elements, Not The Bot, Safirian, Valadine, Valkyrie, Weazar, Whitlove Sparrow, Weird Dreams, Zimmy 99, and Zoldan Alarmu, Zombie Dinos, Zoxen Fire. Welcome. Welcome to the most glorious stream on Twitch. Today, we will send our duplicates to space, where they will get us super coolant. What will we do with this super coolant? We do not know. We don't gather it because we need it. We gather it because we are drawn to it, like moths to a flame. Nuki Nuclear says, drink the super coolant. <laughs> Woo. Let's see all these usual suspects were. Throw in some sound alerts inside the roll call. Yep. David Perm. El Turtle Hermit. Alex. Says, feels good, man. Remy May. The amount of ways that I have found to say Mariah, Moria, and who knows Yo's channel, is more of the ways than I have found to say Clemson. Why can... What's the deal with saying Mariah? Or Moria? Why is that a thing in uh, Kevin's channel? We oh, yeah, it's just time to derail the stream. Echo, did you learn that natural gas is orange yet? No. Look at all them chickens! Puzzlina, I do see your dupe luxury upgrade, by the way. Kitsune Wan says, if you try to roll call faster, does that not mean you were trying to wrap things up? Wrapping up the roll call or rap call for sure. <laughs> All right, dupe making music. Let's get down to business. Holla, holla, holla. What is this? What game are we in? I think I need to turn this on. Wowzers, that's loud. Load game. Puzzlina says give it away. Why do, why are we giving it away? Was a misclick? Oh, then I'll refund it. Refunded. Refunded. 
Yeah, everything seems louder right now. Isn't that better? <laughs> What's weird, too, is the, uh, one thing I do not like about these ear monitors is it seems like it comes out louder than what it is. So I actually have to watch the meter to see how you guys are hearing it. Puzzliness says, I do nothing with your echoes. Well, maybe one day you'll find something. Let's not count yourself out this too early. And... Another pendiculate by Lucky Wolf. Oh. Oh. Thank you, Lucky Wolf, and cheers to you. What can I say except you're welcome? <laughs> Thanks, Turtle. Oh, I didn't see the second planetoid yet. We've got... We're a little sustainable, right? We have... Uh, 53,000 calories and only two duplicates over here. So it's not too bad. We have dirt. And that's sort of where we left it off. We got some water sources. Another water source up here with even more food. I really need to stop. To tell you the truth, what I probably need to stop doing is playing, stop playing some of the easier colonies and make life more difficult for me because we've just been flexing through this place. How did my ears feel after wearing them for 12 hours? I wanted to burn mine on the fire. My ears hurt so much. What's funny is my monitors are in such a position, my regular speakers, I don't think I really even need them. I don't. I think I can get away with it and it not pick up in this microphone because this microphone is so good and has such a limited pickup range. But I, I don't know. It feels bad, man. <laughs> oh, chat. Would love to see a harder starting cluster, says Woot and Scoot. First time chatter, welcome. Yeah, I think me too. Uh, let's go check the star map because... We did manage to get all of that work done. We found a gilded asteroid here that has fullerene. And I don't know if there's another one. Oh, this one right here. It's pretty close too. So I think this is our target. Onyx the cookie says, hello, lovies. Nicolakis? 1991 in with the follow. Welcome in. What about your non-space materials metha methane distiller? Naz, what are you talking about? Yeah, they do have the same per um, percentage as Glenn pointing out. The only difference is um, this one's closer. It also has gold too and sedimentary rock. So it'll be a nice one to tap into. Can you see if my dupe is still alive? All the dupes are still alive. Doo -doo -doo. No dupes have perished in the creation of this colony. You talked about a plastic sour gas boiler. Um, yes. To make that permanent, I need thermium. Otherwise, I'll just be pulling it from geothermal. There's FRD dot there. Cheeseburger! In with the six months. We also had Laura, PB, and J. Welcome. Thank you for the follow. Terraria School says, you first getting plastic all the way at cycle 370 is okay. What do you mean? And if they perished, we wouldn't know. Yes, everybody would know. Do you think getting plastic 
um, at 370. Absolutely. You don't ever have to think like, is it okay to do it at this cycle or that cycle? Don't ever, don't allow yourself to think that way. Why? Because it never ends, right? Like the cycle meter never stops. You can take as long or as short as you want. All right, what's going on over here? Let's do a quick uh, colony check. Make sure, you know, like the sun is not bursting and oxygen still on. Water is still crushing it. I want to give a slight told you so to some of the folks in chat. Because when we were designing this system, everybody was giving me all sorts of grief about how this was never going to work. It's bad, yada, yada, yada. And now it's been working for what? 500 cycles flawlessly. Echo's throwing shade. I'm not throwing shade. It's just so funny when, because a, a lot of systems have a startup time that it has to work through. And normally it has to do with heat. Normally it has to do with heat. And, but once you get the heat sort of stabilized, that's when magic, magic happens. Did I ever get Pakus? No. We do have Pakus over here though. So we thought about trying to ship a Paku egg if we can't get one in the pod. There's some Pakus here. We also have bees in a very large radiation place. Do they even buffer tank, bro? Says Otaku. Thank you, Otaku. That means you watch to the end of the videos through the credits. See that, Liz? Some people don't mind the credits. You know why? Because there's always a secret little message at the very, very end. And you've been missing it. <laughs> Is that geyser exposed to space? No, it's got environment up to here. But, I mean, pretty much. Weird Dream says, yeah, well, you know what else is new? I sleep a lot. <laughs> All right. Um, what do we want to accomplish today? I would... We don't necessarily need to get any more refined metal. We have plenty of refined metal coming in. So, yeah, I think it's got to be all about space. I think it has to be all about space. Everything's loaded with diamond. Did we update all of these? I don't think we did. <laughs> that one's updated. This one's not updated. <laughs> Grand Friendling says, uh, we're in danger. Just because. <laughs> All right, we got to get the shipping going here. Where are you? My wayward son. That is loud. Gas output fitting? No. Conveyor receptacle loader? Out of rocket storage via conveyor rails. Yes. My spider in with the follow. I appreciate you. Have you ever thought about using the space map sensor? If I ever figure out of what I need need it for, yes. But I just haven't needed it. Okay, that's good. This is good. This is good. That's good. Okay, so this one just needs the power to it. Here we go. Rem says, I want to see Echo play some RimWorld. We've played it on stream a couple times. All right, I think we're ready. Other than the fact that... Looks like this needs... Oh, it says it's unreachable. 
What? That should be reachable. Deconstruct that. Uh, no, I wouldn't keep that there. Eh, we might as well deconstruct it. All right, let's go back up to double speed. We're gonna once we launch the rockets, we'll have some time to work over on the second planetoid and keep an eye out for the fishes. Wolf, first time chatter says I gotta figure out these rockets. What kind of questions do you have? Even if I miss the question, lots of people in chat are very helpful and friendly. Carrot says, Echo, I'm going to need massive advice later. I need that Marine officer facts and reason. Sure thing, Carrots. All right, where is... Here's our tank. It is ready to go. EMAP, hello! Oh, one grub grub? Two grub grub, three grub grub, four grub grub. Yes. Hopefully now they're they're all sort of sequenced through. Oh, I mean we even got two more sitting here. Eight out of eight. <laughs> Zombie Dino says, oh, you even have the Paku house ready for them. Yes. Oh, we can also tame this aluminum volcano. That's always fun. And it's aluminum, so I think I can use one of my single steam turbine things. I got so much I want to do tonight. I want to see how small I can make it. So that would be there. Normally it just makes sense to put two steam turbines on them because you need the space anyways. But you don't have to. Wolf says, you know, I knew the second I loaded the stream that Echo was a god tier gamer. This just solidifies the theory. Oh, buddy, you haven't seen anything yet. Well, I am a pro gamer, but pro doesn't stand for professional. Whoop. <laughs> Is there a Magnus the Mooficient? Not yet. We'll get there. What up? Why Grub Grub over Sweetles? Um, asked uh, forwarded Dave from I Am Killer Dove. Because Grub Grubs give the Grub Grub rub. And the Grub Grub rub increases the growth rate on the plant by 50%. Allows you to get a lot more of the plants. So, for instance, in here, let me find one with a grub grub rub. There's one with a grub grub rub. So now, this one bristle blossom has a farmer's touch, which increases the speed by 100%, and a grub grub rub, which increases it by 50. What's the entombed alert? Oh, there's no telling. This sweepy dock. What is that, ice? Yeah. All right. I think the rockets are good. Space. The final frontier. No, 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 no. We just got to crew everybody up. Everybody get crewed. We'll be back in a minute. There they go. The right stuff. <laughs> 
Some of you get that reference, some of you don't. All right, we do still have the telescope, just in case. Are we gonna be able to get a beautiful four, four launch, quad launch? What does Sweetle tending do? Sweetles turn spindly grub fruits into um, into regular grub fruit plants. They also, I think it's five percent. Yeah, we don't have any in here to show it, but they it says like Sweetle tending, and it's a five percent boost. Boost. One rocket can't use the telescope, says Kitsune Wong. I don't think they stack with Sweetle, um, Sweetle Tending and Grub Grub, but I could be wrong. I do not know. Telescope. 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 Yeah, I think they can. It's just that right now all the rockets are grounded. All right, let's go. Um, change destination. You, somebody's coming all the way down here because we have to discover all this stuff. You are going to go over here to grab some nice artifacts. You are going to go over. Ooh, that's close. That's 10 and 10. It's okay. We'll do it. We're gonna do it anyways. Sync lock launch with automation. It even with automation, you'll never be able to sync them. I'll show you the another way we do it. Uh where else do we wanna go? Sandy Orfield? Sure, why not? So what I do is pause it. See how everybody's like getting ready to go? And then you can pause it and just hit begin launch sequence. Can you rescue stuck dupes in space? Yes. You um, abandon the ship and they get launched to the closest planetoid. So whether or not you have a planetoid capable of sustaining life <laughs> that's closest to that ship, that's the other question. All right, here we go. I guess we'll do it like this. I don't like this screen thing over here. See, they don't ever, they normally don't fire all at once. See, we got ignition out of one, two, then three, four. Dr. Dangerous says, the best Arnie stream ever was Punkin' in the abandoned ship. <laughs> Here we go. I should be hitting a geothermal spike under this. That'd be a nice project. Do we need power? All right, let's do a poll. Rocket geothermal spikes. We're going to get super coolant. I mean, it's almost coming back now. The heat only goes down eight tiles. Yes. Uh, but for, see all this wonderful carbon dioxide? If we change this into a geothermal spike, you could put a door here to let that heat in. Because once the heat is on the tile, it never goes away. Ethereal Alpaca, first time chatter. Thanking Suarez for the gifted sub. Welcome to the chat to Ethereal Alpaca. And thank you for giving the thanks. We like to see that. Yeah, let's do it. I need some diamond. Easy day. It'd probably be better to build it out here. Sort of like this. I think we have enough. If not, we'll have to move these up. Because that gas should spread. That space looks exactly the right size for a regolith melter, says Rob Roy. 
You should use it to heat up water for a hot tub. I think it, that is definitely a possibility. Uh, this needs to be a door. Uh, like one of these. Made out of steel. All this lead needs to be updated to... Oh, uh, we are hurting on steel, though, aren't we? I hear a singing dupe. I love the yokels. Czar says, Today I learned that geothermal means rocket-powered. They call it a geothermal spike, but yeah, we'll call this a rockets, rocket heat sink. What do we call this? That's a great point, says Czar, who is a uh, recent first time chatter to the channel. <laughs> rocket exhaust collection device. Dog variance is just a thermal spike. I mean, I like it. Rocket exhaust tamer, so it's Carthora. That's another good one. <laughs> Brian says propulsion recombobulation. The Geo Rocket Thermal Power Sword of Doom, <laughs> says David Opro. Heat death from above. Heat collection thingy. <laughs> Oh. There's a Peggy! Hello, Peggy! We're also going to be working on this. First time chatters. Enoch, welcome. Bob Cobb, look at all the glorious people coming in. Welcome to Alana Orama. Raid message indeed. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. MJKJXP? Darl Triple. Nope. Darl 001. Warner. Sentient Cookies. Welcome, everybody. Hi, Echo. I hope you're having a great stream. Thank you very much. I appreciate the raid. Let's find out what, uh, what, what were we playing today? Stardew Valley. Actually, somebody in chat was just talking about um, wanting to see some more RimWorld action. This is who you want to follow if you want to see some more RimWorld action. Rural Storage. Welcome. Today on the stream, we play a lot of auction not included on the stream. Um, today, specifically, we're doing a couple things. We're, we're, we've just named, we're building a thermal spike under the rockets to gather some of that heat and turn it into power. We are also uh, taming this aluminum volcano. We do all sorts of weird, magnificent things in Oxygen Not Included. But like uh, last Friday, I played some Millennia. We play a lot of strategy and colony sims. I was in the new Stardew update. I am so excited for the new Ribbon World DLC. So just some cozy farming till then. Amazing. I haven't seen the details yet on the uh, RimWorld DLC. I saw the announcement. But you know, that whole time thing, spending the time to do the research, is what I am inhibited by the most. Czar says the heat output taming system. Hots. I like it. Razor Darkseid. Welcome. Blue Squid. Welcome. Appreciate everybody coming by. Following through with the raid. It's always wonderful to see. Uh, we're gonna need some sort of automation on this. For now, we'll just put a line on it and uh, that's it. So it'll stay red and stay locked. And then we'll build it on from up here and just see how it works. I am Killer Dove says, Echo went from Stardew Valley to RimWorld to War Crime Simulator and I thought was Echo finally snapped from lack of pay for True statement. Treble Queen says, such cute sweepers. Aren't they amazing? We have them everywhere. Sure you don't want to make those automation wires out of steel? Oh, chap's going to get mad at you. But no, we don't need to. 
Um, copper has... Uh, inside here would be fine. Yeah, let's make them out of steel. Nice catch. Swarza says no more because Echo got distracted. <laughs> Alana, thank you so much for the raid. Gonna go lurky for fam times. Have a great stream. Thank you for the warm welcome. Anytime. Thank you for trusting your community over here. All right. Enjoy the family time. Very, very... I like the family time. Dave Amber says, Reddit is saying using diamond tiles under the rocket with obsidian drywall temperature shift plates. Yeah, when do am I going to listen to Reddit? I'm not listening to Reddit. I'll make my own. That way we can be the original. I'm surprised this, uh, this sandstone has not heated up yet. We made these out of obsidian, but... Not this one row? That's weird. Everything else was made out of obsidian. Then we can just go down here. We've got plenty of diamond, right? Uh, we're also going to need all that... That, uh... Radiation. Because we're going to soon need diamond. Horizon says... Talking to Suarez. It's so funny. Even if I'm a native German speaker, I can't read your name right because of how Echo pronounces it. You mean the right way? <laughs> Suarez Zeigen. It's close ish. <laughs> Absolute says leaving your community here is brave indeed. We'll put them in the corner. Uh, for those of you new to the stream, that's actually a compliment. Because the corner is where they give out snacks. Trapped? How did... Uh, I should have saw that one. I should have saw that one coming. <laughs> Alright, so that's going to go in. How are we going to... We'll just inject the heat into it? We have a nice cooling loop right here. That's convenient. So just uh, enough room for two steam turbines. Diamond, diamond, diamond. This will be, yeah, just like this. I mean, beautiful. I mean, really. We'll take this over. Whee! A little bit of radiant action. And then bring it back up. Zoldan says, for your new heat spike, engine combustion heat originer. Originator. It stands for echo. Sweepy is going to get melted. No. Sweepy's made out of steel. They'll be fine. All right, first, now we need to get some water in here. How are we doing on calories, by the way? One million calories with the berry sludge. 240,000 calories of mixed berry pie. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Who's trapped? We just got them untrapped. Ooh, look at this Mima. Building, digging, operating? Grease monkey? The only neg negative is yokel? Just take a yeah, we're gonna grab this, this Meemaw. That means it's time to get your dupe raffles in. Yeah, I don't... Oh, wait, there's another trapped. Oh, Chippy! Oh, Chippy's running out of air. Oh, boy. Alex, I should have refunded you on that one. I owe you. It's time. It's time. Codesman says, things are going well for me lately, so I wanted to share. 
to share the love and say thank you for all you do for us. I appreciate it, Codes, man. I'm glad to hear things are on the up. All right, Chippy. I think the fastest way is just to put one ladder right there. Then they can run across and over before you run out of air. There is some obsidian down there. Can you reach it yourself? No? Well, that's not great. Who's got this errand? Shallow Pie, you're at the bottom of the map. Well, at least they're going to be able to get up here quick. There they are. <laughs> you got to love the tubes. Where's Shallow Pie? Where did Shallow Pie go? Oh, there they are, right in front of me. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Yay, Shallow Pie! Woo! Hang well. Is my hair still good? Do we still have nice hair? Look, I'm sensitive about my hair. Okay. Should we turn on the light for maximum screen flare? <laughs> All right. Lots of stuff going here. This is going to be fine. We'll put down, what we say, some water. And what's great is once heat's injected into here... Heat's not going to leave. He just stays there. Until we take it out. Swarzez says, I don't know about the hair since I don't have any, but the beard is gorgeous. Thank you, Swarzez. I take a lot of time to manicure. I try. I, I need to be pretty. Uh, water first? No, it's got to be the other. Let's go... What else do we have? Oh, we have a little bit of everything. This is a marketable different size. Why didn't I just do this in the farm series? Why do I always have to do something wacky? Yeah. Kevin says return of Tickles the Clown. <laughs> Hello, Kevin. Yeah, we'll just grab some salt water. Salt water. How are we all doing? We're doing wonderful. Miss Shay Shay says, because why not? I mean, fair. Very fair. I don't love how much diamond this is costing us, but... It's gonna be worth it. I'm not sure if any... Unless we drywall this all in. <gasps> we could drywall this in? So all the exhaust of the rockets hits... We could then even... All right, so when the rockets launch, we open the doors. So all that exhaust comes in there, and then we shut the doors. So it traps it all. Granted, right now it's just carbon dioxide coming out of there, right? Yeah, I, I want to do this. 13 Tacos says, like what Reddit said. I don't know what Reddit said. Okay, I didn't want to read what Reddit said. You see me doing this live. We're going to do it live. Right? Which is faster, bunker doors or mechanical doors? Uh, we will definitely be using uh, doors like this. The mechanized airlocks. 
Shallow Pie, why are you standing there still? We're starting to get a little glitchy. Uh, doors are going to be right down here. So that means drywall up to here. Obsidian, like, wee! Yes! I've never built one of these. I'm doing this all flying by the seat of my pants. No one's in danger. Everything's gonna be fine. We need fancier drywall, but this is like an industrial system. We're, we can't do, we can't do fancy drywall in an industrial system. It's gotta be industrial. What about pumping and recycling the CO2 to skim it? No, it is CO2. I don't know if I'd want to skim it. Because remember, what's going to happen is once we open the doors for the rockets to launch, carbon dioxide is going to leave too. Because it'll be exposed to the vacuum of space. Zoldan says, you put up aluminum sheeting in an industrial area, not drywall. <laughs> I mean, fair. All right. How much is this? 60 kilos? It's plenty. Plenty. Now I just need a little bit of water, but we got to pay attention to this. Because I only need a little bit. Just a little bit. And how great is it that we don't have to put a thermal aqua tuner in here? That last episode of the farm, that was a lot of thermal aqua tuners. Ooh. That should be plenty. Come on, you can't go one more tile? One more again? Okay, come on. Water. Sweep only. Just because it's industrial doesn't mean it can't be pretty. Come on. Nope, we've got... This is a carbon dioxide blockage, not a, uh, a water thing. Or an oxygen blockage. What I'm gonna do is put a tile right there and then deconstruct it. Why do we use two different liquids for, ste um, for this? This is the why. Because when I seal this up, I don't want anything, I don't want any gases in there. And right now, see how there's a water right here and then salt water down here? That way you don't have to use a thousand kilos worth of water. If that makes sense. And that way when we seal it up, it's beautiful. It's easy, breezy, like a cover girl. What is this? Oh, did we? Oh, I just connected this. There we go, sweepies. You're all better. And you can't reach some places. Now we just deconstruct it and it should let that water flow through. There we go. Making magic happen. Then we'll put a nice thermo sensor in here. Uh, yeah, this works. So it'll, oh, oh. Oh, I made a boo-boo. Can anybody tell me the boo-boo? Kevin says yes. I'm thinking, I mean, the door would just push the steam back out. Oh, but then when we want to open it, it wouldn't work. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to slide over one. So we don't trap this door in when we open it because we don't want to transfer any more thermals. Well, the steam will come in and just transfer them that way. 
Hopefully we don't wreck our wonderful little system here. No, 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 no. Thank you. Let's push this over. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. And we'll have one of these. Does the airlock crush the liquid? Yes. Two diamond tiles next to the door would work. Great minds, Zimmy. Great minds. I think it's missing drywall. Thank you, Dog Wizard. Let's go with a nice... Like red for heat. Here we go. That's a lot of diamond. Now, I need a rocket. Oh, wait, we got some here. Okay. Sends a green signal when the rocket is ready for flight. Sends a green sec signal when the rocket is on the platform and then launches rocket. That's not exactly what we want. Hmm. What, why are you saying, still saying no power? Go charge! Oh, I see it. Ha! <laughs> yeah, Mima is a brand new dupe, so they walk really slow. Speaking of which, are we ready for that dupe raffle? Oh my goodness, chat. 48? You know how long it's going to take me to count if somebody rolls like a 24? Let me get an exclamation roll! 48! Dave Hammer rolled a 47. Chef's kiss, Dave. Chef's kiss. Because now I can go to the bottom of the list and just subtract one. Oh, Alex. Alex. Why, Alex? Why? Huh? Alex, get in the corner. Go there. No, don't anybody give... Alex, any brownies or any lemonade? They are cut off. Alex is cut off. Where's that Meemaw? There's the Meemaw. Ooh, this needs to be mopped up. Squirrel! I lost Meemaw again. Brownies with lemonade? I don't know. I was spitballing. There's Meemaw. Liz Clemson. Oh. I, I can't finish typing it out. Thank you, Alex. I appreciate it. Nicely done. I appreciate everybody for participating in the raffle. Way to go. Way to go. Way to go. <laughs> Kevin says, wait a minute. Oh, oh that, that was close. I had a lot of trepidation even t writing it out. Like, it just... Eh. Liz Gamecox is not what won. You don't know that, Remy May. You didn't see my screen. <laughs> More fish? Can we get some fish? No fish. Oh, we do need to set Nima up, though. Uh, or Liz Gamecox. Liz Gamecox can come live down here. Very nice. 
And then, what are you going to be doing? I like our little strategy. We won't see Liz Gamecocks until next um, until next stream. By then, they'll have six or seven skill points. Suarez says that demands a refund. Unfortunately, I had already clicked the button. I already owe Alex. I owe Alex for the last one, too. Weird Dream says it's my brother's alma mater. Alma, alma, oh. alma mater. I accept this dupe inefficient game name on behalf of Alex. <laughs> All right. Um, what are they going to be doing? Uh, mechatronics engineering. So then we can go to priorities. How many dupes are we at? 42 now? Operating building. Remember on your mechatronics engineers, a good idea is to put building up a little bit higher than operating for the simple reason you don't want them like working on a rock crusher when you need to build rails and um, auto sweepers and those sort of things. Give Liz a gassy moo room. Free upgrade for Alex. Now, what does this look like? No. Okay, you can't, we may get, we may get Liz a gassy moo, okay? I'm not gonna give them their own gassy moo room. Liz Gamecock lives in the, uh, lives in the barracks. And I've specifically heard that gassy moos are not authorized in the barracks. That's not my policy. <laughs> Liz says, I need Magnus to live with me. <laughs> All right, so up here, we need to figure out some automation. Oh, did this work? Not yet. Let's see. I'm gonna want the doors to open just while the rocket is launching. We could make that happen because we could have a buffer or a filter gate on the green signal to actually launch the rocket. Hmm. I wish there was an automation for rocket is launching. It'd make it so much cleaner. I mean, we could just open the doors manually before we rock, before we launch any rockets let's put let's put in our, our mechanized airlocks for now and we'll go we'll go from there you could use a buffer on the on the rocket platforms automation port that's what I'm looking at but I don't know if I want to manually, like, click a button to make the rocket launch. And do we only tie it to whatever rocket's about to launch? It seems more manual that, and less automated. If you know what I mean. Oh, we are running out of steel. We need those fish to get more lime. We don't even have enough steel for this. What kind of world are we living in? We're just missing lime. We haven't done that much. I guess we have done quite a bit, but where's all of our steel? Aren't you clicking the button to launch the rockets now, says Bergetta? Yes, that's fair point, but I'm not using automation. Is there a moo wallpaper so Magnus doesn't feel alone when you send me to the coal mine? As a matter of fact, there's not a wallpaper. But there is a painting. Where is this glorious, glorious painting? Look at this, 80s. Look at this, laser pips. It's like a 1980s school photo. Some of you remember. 
Where are you, Gassy Moo? Not there. I know there's a Gassy Moo artwork, right? I could have. There it is. There's Moopolian Bonafart. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. Yeah, some of the artwork is just incredible. It's, most of it's based on real life arts of wor work of art. This is, I think, um, called Girl with a Balloon. Um, yeah, all of them are. They're so wonderful. I want them all. Starry Nights. It says Super Old Mural. <laughs> oh, some Dolly. All right. Let's go. Oh, we're paused. Because we have no steel. How do we not have steel? Are they Oh, you know what we can do to get we can get some fossil. I wonder if we can get Echo to dislike drywall. That way if he ever moves, he will not use it in his new house. There should be another output at the top of the building. One that sends a green signal and the rocket is ready to launch. If not, one of the outputs is one. Yeah, there is one that says the rocket's ready to launch. But just because the rocket's ready doesn't mean we want to send it. And so the only one I can really see is this input here that says, hey, we're ready to launch the rocket. So I'm trying to figure out how I wanna how I wanna work it. Because each individual one would have to be its own. Because we don't know when we want to, like, we only want to launch this rocket or this rocket. I'd rather keep that manual. If you set up a fossil, if you set up to the fossil, you will have unlimited supply of fossil and sediment to your rock. What do you mean if you set up to the fossil? Um, speaking of which, I wanted to see if, yep, here it is. Here's the frozen one. Are we still crushing fossil, as a matter of fact? No. So, yeah, let's go do this... This thing here. Lat... Why are all these made out of obsidian? What is wrong with you, Echo? Whoop. Just go a little bit like this. Oh, there's uh, there's several. Each one of these is going to be like 1,500 too. Are they producing heat when they land or only when starting? They produce it in both. More so when they launch though. Put a launch switch with a buffer gate. Trigger the doors, wait, and then trigger the launch. That's it. That's that's my point, Glenn. Is um, That's all I can really think to do. And it, it's, it seems like instead of hitting one button, I'm now hitting another button. Which is fine. Why are you so stingy with obsidian? Just put lava and water. Uh, lava and water, or magma, doesn't turn into obsidian. It turns into igneous rock. And obsidian is valuable because um, it can withstand rocket heat. How are we? We need to check on our folks over here. 35 calorie, 35,000 calories. Uh, what should we have plenty of polluted water and some bog buckets? Yeah, let's start working on that. Just, I don't want to forget about them. And then, you know, they starve to death. And then chat blames me. I mean, it's. It gets also very complicated. Dex says, oh, Echo, well, do I have some automation for you? <laughs> I'll bet you do, Dex.
get this. Echo doesn't like Minecraft. Can you believe it? It's a true statement. And I can't even tell you uh, because I have watched some gameplay of it. I have zero interest in, in playing it. I'm not one of... I. It's the... I'm not going to say the graphics because if nowadays you can get Minecraft with ray tracing on it. It's just, it reminds me of like a Roblox nowadays, right? Like it just, it seems like a game. I can't get into it because of like the character art, like the blocky character. I know, I know I'm going to make, I know. I know I'm making people mad. Hot takes. <laughs> Where Dream says me either, Echo. I want to make hobbit houses, and why can't I round everything? I mean, if it's not your game, it's not your game, but don't call it Roblox. It's just what reminds me of it, because Roblox has a similar square-based people running around everywhere. And it's not the pixels, because I love pixel art. Can we get camera to center? Uh, of course. Um, I love pixel art. I wish more games used high quality pixel art. You know, with more of resolution than than that. I need to find a bog bucket to find out how many we need. Roblox is, uh oh. This is on a seven. Why aren't you going to take care of it? Don't do that. There you go. Disable this effect. Bog bucket, bog bucket, where are you? We got some emergency swamp chart arts there. A lot of a lot of younger kids play Roblox. It is a basically a gaming service where people can sort of develop their own games. Some popular ones come out and then they try monetizing them and it's it's a whole thing. Captain Jack, I appreciate the lurk. But you can be a diggy diggy dwarf and look for gold and diamonds. Which is great, but there's a lot of games where you can do that. And I can tell what I'm looking at. Uh, I need a bog bucket. All right. 1,840 calories. Take 6.6 .6 cycles to create. Well, I got to get used to this. It is now time for stream, stream math. math. 1840 divided by 6.6. .6. We would not be cooking these bog buckets quite yet. So each bog bucket will give 278 calories per cycle. So that means we could get four bog buckets per dupe. Okay, that's fair. Would you play Mar Mariah with me? Somebody earlier was saying that you're not allowed to say Mariah in this channel. I don't even know what Mariah is. Moria? Maria. Like Maria? <laughs> Mariah? <laughs> the carry? <laughs> oh. uh, might as well grab a Draco over here. All colonies can use some Dracos. Alright. Hydroponic. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, no. That's gonna be a pain. 278. Can I get away with seven of them? 270, 278 times 7 equals 1,946. We can't. So let's just move this over. Like this.
We have six bog bucket seeds already. And we just need a little bit of power. Which makes me want... Yeah, the dupe might get a little hypothermic. But the wheel provides a thousand DTUs worth of heat. And we don't want that heat. So I'm gonna disconnect I'm gonna deconstruct the wheel from here. This is also generating heat. 4,000 DTUs, but you know, we need it out here. Actually, do we? I could put it right in here. Move this. And then just plug it in that way. Yes! Go to the cold zone, Heat! Is it really cold over there anyway? It's a little cold. It's getting warmer. Hashtag not Echo's problem. <laughs> Alright, let's go... Copy this one over. And they should be finishing up here in a little while. I do want to deconstruct all this, though. Uh, can I get this finished so I can copy it and then go? It's not Leviosa. It's Leviosa. <laughs> You're saying it wrong. It's not Leviosa. It's Leviosa. Dex, you have a 12,500 cycle colony? My goodness. My record is now the 5,100 or something. All right, this is all good. Yep. We've got this copied, so they'll move that over. They'll finish that. We're good. Boop. All right, so this is good. How much steel do we have? 930. Which tells me we didn't do anything up here. Excavate, excavate, excavate. This should give us like 1500 calories or 1500 kilos. This one's 1500 kilos worth of fossil. This one will be two tons. That's what I'm saying. I think it's 5,000 cycles. It's like 5,100 now. Uh, and for every 100 kilos of fossil, we will get 5 kilos of lime. It's not a great conversion. But there it is. 4 tons, 1,600. Get to work. Maybe we'll professionalize this like this. Make it all nice. Let's go find the next one. Oh, convenient. It's right here. Oh, that is a spot, apparently. And we can go like this. Click excavate. And then like this. And click excavate. Head in with a pan, Viculate! Oh! Welcome back, Ed. It's good to see you, buddy. Ah, oh, we did it too low. Now we have to... Oh, this is all fossil here, too. All hail, Ed! First of their name! Doing great. Nice job. 
Only 250 kilos? Well, that didn't seem very worth it. Oh, we're still excavating. Way to go, Absolute Tina. Got this one. Scream Yonkers if you find it! Oh, no. Come on! Uh. Fossil data decoded. It appears the creature's DNA was once used as kind of a genetic storage unit. This is actually the first time I've done the full um, story trait. Very nice. Just a short walk into the warm place. We still have one more, though. Where did it go? Right here. I see you! Just like this. And like that. Might as well do some of this action here. Perfect. Looks like a nice flower. I'm gonna smell it. <laughs> uh oh. Where's that water going? Oh, it's going in here. That's fine. It's fine. But I really need you to hurry and chop down that sporkid, please. Thank you. Chop it down. No, you're not doing what I told you. Thank you. Oh, no, 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 no. Because I want to excavate this first and then excavate that. Did we do it? That's <laughs> so cute. All right. Uh, this is going to be a pain. And I think the best way is to go down through here. Oh, it's so far. Uh, what do you think, chat? As soon as I try to dig through the lava, we are dunsky. We're absolutely dunsky. I could wait for it to solidify. We got another log. Project Meat Popsicle. <laughs> I haven't read all these. I need to read those. Uh, I think what we do... Is... Just make the dupe suffer. Building this until we get to this point. Because I think this is all obsidian. And solidify it. Make the passage down a vacuum. Yeah, but the vacuum would still be... It would still have a bunch of... Um, um, the dupes will still get burnt when they're in the magma. And I think we're going to have to get in the magma to build these. Because once we get to this point, I'm not going to be able to corner build anymore. What's the lava pressure in there? 1400s. But the issue is not the lava pressure, right? Yes, that can be good. That can be good. Oh, what if Peggy did it all? Oh, Peggy, you don't want to stand there. No, Peggy. There we go. I suppose... 
I don't want to start dealing with the magma until we seal it off. Because if we do, then we're going to be in trouble. Why are these ladders sandstone? Help me help you, Echo. If Peggy would do all this work, it would be great. Ooh, maybe we just don't let a, allow dupes in? If Peggy can build in insulated tiles? I don't know if Peggy can, though. Do we even have any medical beds? It wouldn't... It wouldn't be like me to have medical beds because we don't really need them. Yeah, we have five. We should be fine. We should be fine. I mean, and these folks are going to do it before we even get a chance. Why won't they build this door? At a priority of seven. They're doing so great. Aren't they doing great? What did I miss from Ed? Oh, a dupe luxury package upgrade. I'm missing all sorts of things, aren't I? It's because I wasn't on the right thingy. Oh no, somebody get Cuddle Pip! Quick, oh! Why didn't they come out? Oh no. Cuddle Pip! No, Cuddle Pip! Quickly! Why isn't anybody coming? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, Cuddle Pip's doing okay. They're standing. Okay, this is borked. Does everybody see that this is borked? They're not grabbing Cuddle Pip. This is not my fault. Not my fault. Something is weird. We are not killing a dupe, okay? That's not what's happening here. That's not what's happening. This is Echo's feedback for Liz Gamecox. It's Liz Gamecox. Save it. Boop. Hmm. See, this makes me upset because Cuddle Pips would have been fine. And now chat's going to blame me days since last incident. Do we have triage cots? Yes, we have five triage cots. We have five. But see how Cuddle Pips is standing up? That's a lot of lost time with the little bug because now the dupe's got to re-get the errand to go get them. Let's do the time warp again. I might. I'm still going to do the same strategy. Welcome, B-dubs. It's not, because this one's not my fault. They should have just came, picked Cuddle Pip up. They're just swimming in magma. Okay? This swimming in magma. <laughs> you don't get dupes killed either, do you, Pumpkin? Says who knows, yo. <laughs> Very safety. Oh, what is going on here? Okay. Full platter, dying heat stroke. They're standing up. Okay, now they're laying down. 29 seconds. Can we please accelerate the getting? Oh, 
of the dupes. They are buried. They're not buried. You see what I mean? Oh, you can reset that. That is, um, that death counter is from, um, Resident Evil. Where are they buried? There's nothing there. Under the ladder. They look the same. Will somebody please come pick this dupe up? For the love of Cuddle Pip, where are they? We're redoing this one. Redoing it! Load. This is not multiverse. This is fixing a bug. Okay? 81? That's four cycles ago. Oh. Alex says unsub. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> Get the nearby dupe to do it and set emergency priority on the chore. Um, the I, I would love to get the nearby dupe to do it, but they don't seem to be wanting to do it. We did set the sick beds to priority nine. Use door permissions to force the dupe. Yeah, but if they have no place to bring them, with the door permit, ah, I see what you're saying. So what I could do is first, I guess I gotta dig out this because for some reason they're in here. I don't think they are, but I don't know. So the only person allowed in here is J Jari, Chippy, We're almost done. If it wasn't for this weird bug, we would have been fine. Chippy, Bushman Glenn. Bushman Glenn. Boop. And Cuddle Pip. Because that'd be awkward. <laughs> Sorry, gotta leave you there. You're not allowed to go through. All right. I want to resave it now since we just did that configuration. Do you keep life support on highest priority for everyone? No, not really. Um, but I can change this. Oopsie. Oopsie. There we go. All right, here we go. I'm also going to stop doing this and this. There we go. We got somebody picked up. Now let's allow people in. It's not the dupe's fault. This time it was the dupe's fault. It wasn't even the dupe's fault. This one we can blame on Clay. They shouldn't have been dug in there. No, Chippy, you need to go home. You are done. We can get another dupe volunteer. What happened now? See? That shouldn't have happened either. They just dropped Cuddle Pip? Go back further. I think I, I agree. I'm go I have to go back further. Minutes without accident. <laughs> oh, fucking Pi said I did not screenshot that for evidence. Remember, that's a two-way streak, okay? And last time I checked, you were the world's okayest, okayest, 
okayest gamer. All right. I know I've seen some duplicate accidents, but this one, you have to admit, chat, that shouldn't have happened that way. Yeah, now we're gonna do it differently, uh, but we shouldn't have to have done it differently. Oh, we gotta redo all this work. Oh. Boop. You haven't seen them, but caused them. Most of the time, at least. <laughs> it's like we keep leave reliving the death of our friend Cuddlepip. Cuddlepip's doing just fine. Let's check their vitals. See, there's Cuddlepip. This time I am going to try the letting Peggy do it, though. I think that's a, a fun way. All right, now this is gonna need some of this action. Wait, is this Groundhog Day? Yes. These are not the dupes you're looking for. Ugh. That, think about it. They would have been picked up in plenty of time if it weren't for the weird, like, random um, tile formation. That's all that stopped us. Whoop. Let's go right here. And pack it in right there. Just Not Overthinks is public announcement. The funeral for our beloved Cuddle Pip will take place in Nature Reserve on Sunday. There is... Just take a look Cuddle this. Pip is fine. Okay? Cuddle Pip is fine. Newest dupe has the luxury dupe upgrade. Says Lord Sydney. Um, I saw Ed do a dupe luxury package upgrade. But I wasn't quite sure why. <laughs> Star Trek and the Sorcerer's Stone. <laughs> it's for the new dupe. They deserve, deserve an orange room. Nothing but the best. Chat. Why is it, why do you have to make it one of those days, chat? Huh? Why is it always going to be one of those days? I'm going to take Ed's Echoes. Okay, I'm going to take them. I'll take them. It's fine. It's fine. Right? You want Liz Clemson? That's fine. We'll make Liz Clemson. Liz Clemson. And then I'm going to send this dupe straight to the magma. You did this, chat, not me. You did this, not me. Okay? Straight to the magma, and the dupe's going to drown in the magma before they're even scalded. Yep. That's where, that's where you put me. <laughs> Six. Six. Boop. Boop. All right, let's figure out. Like, why couldn't we have just named the dupe Liz? Why did it have to be Liz Clemson? Why do you like to poke me? Chat's trying to poke me today. It's okay. It's okay. I will have the last laugh. You want orange wallpaper? Let's do orange wallpaper. It's fine. It's fine. Just the ugliest color ever. But no, it's fine. Is this orange? No, that's algae. We don't even have orange. We don't have orange. All we have is algae. You should have banned the word so I couldn't use it in the name. How was I supposed to know that you're going to make the word Liz Clemson? And why doesn't Twitch brick that up? Because if we ban the word Clemson, how can you say something Liz Clemson? Huh? 
We recycled the orange wallpaper. Oh, very nice. Liz doesn't get wallpaper yet, then. I do think we have the nice, um, the painting, though. Something like this. Use red and yellow. That's funny. This will be horrendously... This will look like... A colorblind designer. But this is kind of funny. The inside meaning of it kind of makes, makes it nice. Ah, uh, that's a good point. Remy May says the reason they don't do that is because, like, for instance, the word ass being in the word assassin. Fair point. I was trying to see if you squint your eyes, does it look orangey? I wouldn't know. All right, let me go. Let's pick out a bed. We don't have a lot of the nice beds for Liz. Super CJ Man 77 says, what's wrong with the C word? There's nothing really wrong with it. It's an a ongoing joke because I went to the University of South Carolina and their rival is Clemson. Looks like McDonald's. <laughs> Where's my furniture? There we are. Thank you for the bits, by the way, C-Man. CJ. I appreciate you. Let's give them a race car bed, too. Oh, no. We'll do the hand. So that we can hold and hug Liz. Put it over here. Let's give them a nice flower pot. And a nightstand. And another one of these. And then we're going to redesign this. Oh, wait a minute. Not the puppy one. Geeky Gamer with 69 bitties. Thank you, Geeky Gamer. Let's go with the, the square blank canvases right here. Oh, yeah. All right. Now I'm going to build this door. And then we're doing this my way. Okay? My way. Super CJ Man with another 69 bitties. Oh, behave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Can you make it a checkerboard pattern of orange and white? No, we don't have any orange. And this is... Oh, I haven't... This is Liz Clemson's... Uh... House, but I gotta rename them again because... They're supposed to have asterisks by their name to let us know that they have the dupe luxury package. Very nice. There we go. Where is my audio clip? This <laughs> Geeky Gamer. I'll give you another one. Oh, behave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're so far behind. Excavate. Excavate. Um, they got caught up here, right? Yes. Polluted mud forever. Party of four. Bog buckets. I do it for the Austin Powers. Sure you do. I believe you. Wink. How are we doing on steel? 900 again. Star map. Have we collected everything? Looks like it. We can change this destination back to this little rocket. I Lua Vathar with the follow. Welcome. Welcome to the chaos.
<laughs> Cloud cover said, I just want to look at it at the end zone. A Nayland Stadium since the Gamecocks can't seem to find it. <laughs> oh, look, the Temple Terror. It's closed for renovation. Uh, so we did discover all that. We will come back by going through here. So we can grab up some of these goodies and an artifact. These folks here, all done. We'll go here. What's here, by the way? Obsidian, copper ore, and molten iron. And then we'll bring them home. And then these guys can actually go out a little further. Algae, slime, dirt. Sure. Sure, buddy. Go get that artifact and then they can come home. Deck says, put up a perfectly good wallpaper and cover it with painting. Sounds like a song I know. Something to do with paradise and parking lot. Paved paradise to put up a parking lot. I love that song. All right, did we excavate? No. 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 Now, no dupes are allowed in here. So let's see what Peggy can do. Peggy, 16. Get it, get it, get it, get it, Peggy. See, I wish we could make, give Peggy priorities. Because who's to even say that Peggy's going to pick up that task? Very nice. All right, steel production should be getting a little bit better now, too. No, Peggy. Go down here. Like, what are you even doing? You're grabbing fossil. We should have, be able to have more control out of this. I want control of the Peggies with like a little remote control. Super CJ man says building ladders and lava seems like not a great idea. It cannot be a great idea. Would priorities fix it? Good point. Good call. Let's see if Peggy gets that one. Jokes on everyone. Winthrop colors are garnet and gold. My dupe is living the best dupelicious life. Chad, I just saw a new company got the rights to Never Ending Story and wants to reboot it. Oh, of course they do. Of course they do. Yeah, no, Peggy's still not getting the cat task. Hmm. Then we have this one over here. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Right here. Whoop. That can stay. That can go here. That'll get excavated. This will get excavated. I wonder if blocking the door blocks Peggy. Peggy used to be able to ignore um, door permissions. So one way I could do this is by allowing it and then just disabling it for all dupes. But... This seems hor horrible. Is Proxeny turned on for task? That might alter Peggy. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Oh, I'm going to be here all day. This is the one disadvantage of having so many dupes. When you got to make changes, man. We're just going to see if this will give Peggy the task. La-da-da. la da da So what did you do Wednesday night? Oh, I watched this streamer click the buttons. Riveting stream. How many dupes are on this colony? 
My finger's getting sore! Don't even chat. Oh, behave. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby! Yeah. <laughs> Come on, baby! Click my buttons. There we go. Woo! I'm doing it like this so that the default can remain open, so maybe Peggy will come through. There's 42 that I had to update. Alright, what else? Uh, we also need to update there. This is very nice now. Pick that up and then we can seal it in. Like Rintin Tin or Abilene. Newbie says Peggy doesn't listen to door restrictions. Uh, that, yes, that's what we, I had said before, but we weren't sure on how they weren't listening to door permissions because we have all these priority nine tasks that no dupe on the colony can do, except Peggy's not doing them either. Peggy tasks can do, can dig soft materials, can construct any building unlocked with a novice research. They can also deconstruct. We watch them deconstruct. We've seen them deconstruct. Yeah. I know. I know. Peggy is forcing us into this situation. This is Peggy's fault. 100%. Or were they doing another task? That's a possibility. We could have been missing... Why haven't we done this yet? Uh, because you can't get down there yet. I see. And now you can. Very nice. Oh, it could have been because Peggy can't actually get in there. It was too... There's no way. There's no path. Will there ever be a Peggy uprising? I mean, it's a possibility. Where are you going? Oh, Thank goodness. Peggy! We got some work for you, Peggy! Go, Peggy, go! Go, Peggy, go! Go! Peggy be good! Yes! Now let's see if Peggy will allow herself through. Good job, Peggy. What a good girl. And you said it's not your fault. <laughs> change Peggy's name to Karen. I don't know if we can change Peggy's name. Yeah, you can't. Ladders built out of sandstone? No, obsidian. These up here are. Peggy may not be able to build the insulated tiles. But the advantage is even if they only build the ladders, the dupes won't have to be in here as long. Obsidian requires hard digging. Well, it looks like Peggy can still jump over here, though. Like, doop, doop. I think Peggy can jump there. Yes, yes. Did we do all of them? We did this one. Very nice. Yep, we only have one more. She can supply the insulated tiles. That's a great, great idea, too. No fish still. Oh, wow, that game's starting to drag. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, Peggy's still working down here, I think. Let's go times 10. See if Peggy comes back. Peggy, come back! Does Peggy have a melting temp? Uh, yes. The melting temp of steel. Need more Peggy's? They're coming. We just... We don't have a lot of spore kids.
I mean, we did just get another Sporkid Seed. So we could break into there. But then we'd be letting all these zombie spores out. That does not seem... advantageous. Dave says, The main advantage of Peggy has over a duplicate is that they have no external needs and therefore can work uninterrupted for as long as their battery lasts. Yeah. I don't think Peggy can get through here. All right, let's do... Oh, wait a minute. I can just build another ladder and then maybe Peggy can jump over. Let's see if Peggy builds that one. That Peggy still had plenty of biofuel, right? Good, good, good. Where are we getting our power here? Oh, petroleum. That's right. Remember how we used to have all that power? On the farm? Yeah, it's all gone. The eight thermo aqua tuners kind of ate it. So we have issues now on that colony. That'll be next episode. All right, where am I? What was I doing? Oh, the rocket spike. Rocket spike, rocket spike. Did this actually line up well? Oh, wow, what, what good luck there. I don't care about them being powered other than that obnoxious looking warning. So we are going to do it just to do it. Power! Whee! Um, that can go there. And then this one will come up. Made out of steel, of course. And that'll take a minute. The queen absolutely bonking me on the head. Do you see this? Look at the language the queen uses here. No predictions today as Echo decided to do them all on Sunday. Now, depending, depending on how we change the inflection in our voice, we can... Um, change the meaning in the, of the queen's tone. Ready? No predictions today, as Echo decided to do them all on Sunday. Do you see how the queen talks? Do you see how the queen treats me? Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> We're not, why are we bonking me over the head with a newspaper? That's exactly how the queen said it. <laughs> I did decide it. We did it for the 12-hour stream. And it was wonderful and amazing, and everybody had fun. Okay? <laughs> Queen says, wow, I'm just putting words right in my mouth. I'm using your exact words. See, the Queen wants to make you think that um, she said it like this. Hold on, let me go back to it. No predictions today, as Echo decided to do them all on Sunday. No, 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 no. That's only what the Queen does in imaginary land, right? <laughs> oh. Told you I'm going to be loopy today. Did Echo skip lunch today? <laughs> I actually had a Big Mac. I know, I feel dirty. I feel dirty. I did have a Big Mac. It was a rare Big Mac. I even add like seven fries and I'm not, I'm not one to eat the French fries. Uh, let's go if it is 
All right, so the symbols on this is, okay, it's gonna open when it's green. When it's, so when it's too hot in here, we wanna open it. So when it's above, let's say 220 degrees, open it. Is Echo gonna forget what? What did I do? Miss Shay Shay said, so sad I missed that. Congrats, by the way. Thank you, Miss Shay Shay. <laughs> El Turtle Lermit says, Echo should have Amy send out a memo on how the Queen's messages should be read. <laughs> Literally staring at a trap dupe? Oh, yeah, but they're in oxygen. This isn't a real trap dupe. This is a pretend trap dupe. Did you put a vent in the steam room? No. I didn't. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have stayed up so late. Just maybe I shouldn't have stayed up so late. Where should I put the vent? Over here or over here? Probably over here. Bushman Glenn says, Big Macs are a ripoff. Order a McDouble with tomato, lettuce, and Mac sauce. I don't know how your McDonald's are up there, Bushman Glenn, but the McDonald's down here, yeah, you're lucky they get your order correct. So, special orders? Like, eh. You're reaching for some special orders. Check O2 in the rockets as a breathability warning. They should be fine. They had five tons. Yep, they are good. Breathability. No. Okay, let's go. I actually did have a good experience at the McDonald's today, though. Oh, nope, you can't do that yet. I was pleasantly surprised. Uh, we'll just see. We'll see. I thought the way to get it your way was at BK. Yeah, our BK is even worse than our McDonald's. Dave said the McDonald's headquarters is near me as, as well. Same for the first, um, very first McDonald's. I'm assuming the McDonald's in that area are very well ran. Is my assumption close? Thank you, newbie, for the uh, warning. Refunding you on that. I would assume being so close to... Yep, they were able to do it. Very nice. So then we'll let all the dupes in and just go nuts. Do you want automation for the steam turbines? Uh, I'm not sure yet. Like maybe battery power? We could put some batteries in there. Yeah, let's do a battery. No, because then I can't get the whole thing in. If I do a battery, it's gonna have to be up here. Yeah, it's, this is fine. Bloop, bloop. Power! Show me the power! There we go. Battery. We don't... Oh, we do have it conveniently located right here. Question is, how am I going to get it? Get it, get it, get it, get it. I think we're gonna have to go up over here. Like this. And then we can come over here. Go like this. Split this, rewind it back. Echo's got the beat to make your booty go Smack. Yeah. 
If at first you succeed and multiverse it, might as well try again. <laughs> Alex says, so his target is me. They're both my dupes. Yes. It's time to go swimming. Yay! Uh, power? No, automation. No, power. Plumbing. Uh, nope. That's not how we're... Yeah, we can do that. Because it's only two kilos of water. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. KZ Star with 100 bits says, Morning Echo, four-year-old says to tell you, Hi, dupe man. She loves watching with me today and is very excited that you're alive. Can you say, Hi, Abby Do? Hello, Abby Do. Everybody in chat, let's do some parties and some waves to say hi to the wonderful and amazing Abby Do. The steam turbines are placed too much to the left. I know, but... This is the way I could get the battery here and it looked clean. So you can still have it with only four vents. And it actually makes sense to have four vents this way because if this gets hotter first, this steam turbine will still be able to run it with four, with four vents. Yes, chat. All the hellos to Abby Doo. I wonder if Abby Doo has ever seen the Flintstones. What is it? Yabba Abby Do? I know it's supposed to be Yabba Yabba Do. Or Yabba Yabba Do? Yabba. Ed, how'd the old Flintstones thing go? I know you remember. Don't pretend like you don't. Yabba Dabba Do. There it goes. So now we can say Yabba Dabba Do, Abba Do. Abby dabby do. <laughs> Ooh. All right, so far, so good. Now all I think we have to do is put in a little bit of automation here to open the rockets and open these things separately. Oh, see, this is just a pain. I think we're just going to open these manually. I mean, we got to hit a button anyways. Liz says, put Echo in the corner. He messed up Flintstones. Flintstones. Meet the Flintstones. Oh, we might as well not get in there because I still got to put that one in. All right. Next up, we are going to get the fossil. Here we go. Oh, duplicates. Oh, the obsidian was... Look at the... Oh, it's so hot in here. Because I've been taking my time. It's all right. We're still protected by this giant biome. So I'm not worried about it. But that's what's happening. We're starting to melt the sandstone. I don't want to get a tr dupe trap down there. So we are going to do this first. And then this. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> that's easy. Save first. Good call. <laughs> oh, Ed says, look out, Zolden. He's coming for the fossil. Hope he doesn't mean you. Would it be smart to future-proof the rocket power thingy by adding in an aqua tuner now? No, we don't need an aqua tuner because we have... Um, a cooling loop already going right beside it. It would have been nice or smart to put an aqua tuner in there just to have one in this region, but not a big deal. All right, let's watch them now. All right, Brigetta, you're going home. Go home, Bargetta. Wow, there's a lot of them. Oh, because we're on super speed. 
Doing great. Unpaid intern, you're about to go home. Very nice. Very nice. Well done, round one. Did we want to block two ports of the steam turbine? We only blocked one port, right? I did it because I wanted to smush it over to get the battery there. Yeah, we only got one port blocked. These two should will still work. And it'll give us a higher max um, temperature that the steam turbines can convert into 100%. So I'm fine with it. Hmm. Oh, look at this. It's Liz Clemson. Oh, hold on, Liz. You forgot something down there. Now you have to go get it. Don't drop it. Uh-oh, you dropped it. Look, one last time. You can do it. Hold it in your little hands. Uh-oh, you're getting really slow. <laughs> Always make the room bigger. Look, Brian, I don't want to rework it, okay? <laughs> Liz Clemson as everybody smiles with pride why are you walking so slowly oh because you have the severe wounds minus nine to athletics uh oh I'm sure somebody's coming to get Liz. See, there we go. Now, as long as they don't drop Liz for like lunch or something. <laughs> oh. What can I say except you're welcome? Look at Liz, they're doing great now. You can take off your little sooty suit. <laughs> oh. Oh man. <laughs> Simpson. Homer Simpson. <laughs> oh, watch Liz goes right back down. No, they'll they'll stay in the uh, med bay for a little while. All right, so now these are up. Okay. What are we waiting on? Hello? Dupes. Dupes go to work. Hungry Groove says, Echo, you can no longer claim that dupe safety is um, our number one priority. We actually can. Liz has angry face. <laughs> um, we can because, remember, safety is Echo Ridge Gaming's number one priority. But that does not include missions, objectives, tasks, there's a lot of things that come before priorities, right? <laughs> like for real, the dupes are not coming down here. All the errands are gone. There's no errands for these. That means that none of this has been dropped off yet. Of course not. That's the place of death. <laughs> yes. Come on, doobies. Dooby dooby doo. Oh, yeah. Look at all that material being dropped off. Front of my. Okay, front of my. It's time for you to go. Do you see me taking these doobs' lives in my hands and saving them? Okay. Just saved front of my. Uh oh. Zetalina, you need to go. Why did you stay there for so long? Move you. Uh-oh. Dark wizard! We have a dark wizard down! Shallow pie. You can go home. What are we going to do with the lava once it's enclosed? I'm going to drop a lot of water on it. Alright. Low car. Good. Low car is going home. Unpaid intern. No, you are not welcome. You are going back home. Glenn's going home. Hope. Oh, uh oh. That's Dark Wizard. They mean. Oh, yeah, there's one right here. We got plenty of room for Dark Wizard. Somebody go save Dark Wizard. Yes, Dark Wizard is saved. Very nice. And look at Kiri. 
Kiri's just crushing it. Satir Satirion. In with the follow. I appreciate it. Ice temperature shift plates. That sounds like a beautiful idea. Kiri, you might want to run. Thank you, Kiri. Utilities, ice. How much ice do we have? Oh, 165 tons. Do we have access to it, though? Let's see how that does. I might have to let them in. So we'll put this on sweep only and then allow them in there. Who's dying and why? Oh, you deconstruct that ladder. And... Oh, uh, we still gonna have to go through a little bit more magma. A steam bath. First time chatter, Satyrian. Yet is the key word. <laughs> Come on. Did we not get this task again? Nope. People are coming. Just take a look at this. Mr. Echo, new asteroid times. Is your personal grudges also above soup safety? Some dupe can say it's not very professional. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. All right, why aren't these growing? Ah, uh, Sugar muffins. Don't know why that was like that. Valkyrie says, anyways, I have to go and watch some shows that mom recorded for us. There's quite a lot. Have fun at PAX and safe travels. Good night to you and chat. Thank you, Valkyrie. I appreciate you coming by. <laughs> Casey says, so I'm late today. Why exactly are you disregarding dupe safety to dig through magma? Because we're trying to get to the petrified fossil. And they put it in a very inconvenient situation. So far, we have a little bit of igneous rock here. Get ready to melt. Whee! Very nice. And that steam's not going to go any farther than this. In fact, the steam's going to come up. Hit this cold water. Turn back into water. Or hit this cold biome. Turn back and condense back into water. And then drip right back down. It's going to take a little long. Yes, steam. Yes. Yes. I wouldn't let me put the name of the Orange School in South Carolina in a clip title because of the mod settings. That's good. That's why it's there. Now we've got rain. 1407. It's got a little cooler. Oh, yeah, it's getting really close because 1409.9 .9 plus a 2 degree, like 1.2 degree offset or something like that. This isn't going to take long at all. It's just like my tunnel. <laughs> Says Kevin. Kuranas says, Millennia stream in the works. It's a good game. Disregarding the flight animation. It's quite addictive once you stop looking at the fights. Um, fight animation. Fights individually. Um, yes. Kuranash. Um, we will be streaming it again probably next Friday. Who's going to win? Weezwort or a bunch of lava? The Weezworts. Because there's so much cold up here. The Weezworts will absolutely win. The heat's never going to be able to climb that way. Look at this. It hits. It's minus 20. It is dropping. But this little bit of magma? Easy day. Easy day. All right, we're going to go times 10 speed. 
check on these cows. Oh, we got to go to space. All right, here we got our artic artifact. Now let's go back home. And you know what, though? I'm going, I wouldn't even need to open these doors when they return. Even though they are open now, because they would also just transfer the heat into here. Oh, no, it's a vacuum. We need the gas to get in there. So I will keep an eye on when that dupe or that place return or that below. Oh, man, I'm done today. When those rockets return. Where's the last one? It's hiding from me. Chat, I'm missing a rocket. There it is. Ooh, this is a long save. Yes. Now what we could do... Oh. I've got it. Whenever a rocket comes home... Where is it? Is it a telescope? Nope, it's a space scanner. Automation. Just like this. And now I can get rid of these. Watch, this is gonna be nice. I just can't remember if I need a knot gate on it. So I'm waiting. All right. Oh, you can't pick all the rockets? Why can't I pick all rockets? All right, no, that's fine. That's fine. I got, I've got your ticket. Don't you need one for all each rocket? Yeah, apparently. All right, now it sends a green signal when it detects incoming objects from space. So this one's going to be ESS for the wallpaper. This one's Essential Explorer. This one is I'm Lost. This one's Ed, Ed, and Eddie. And then how long do I want to keep it open for? We'll see how this works, because it this system may not work as well as we kind of want it to. We'll see. Because it, it may hold it open for too long, which is not what we want. Oh, in fact, so why don't we right now put a filter gate onto or a buffer gate? Which one? Nope, filter gate. Right here, steel. There we go. There we go. And that way we can say like 30 seconds because Otherwise, it's going to hold them, hold those doors open for too long and too much stuff is going to escape. And they're going to be able to detect how far the rocket is away. Look at this. 62 seconds to 200 seconds before it arrives. So we only want it to open when it's like been sending it for 30 seconds, let's say. Oh, let's go check our progress. Oh, you know what we need? We need more ice, baby. Stop. Collaborate and listen. <laughs> Temperature. Uh, Wee's Wart's holding strong. 
Oh yeah, we got ice here too. That's a good call. No, I'm using this ice as our biome, so I don't want to dig that out. Yes. Slowly but steadily. We probably won't get it to this stream. But we're gonna get it. Look at that. All that ice is already melted. Oh my goodness. There's 300 kilos worth of steam. <laughs> Pendiculate. Oh. Thank you very much, Onyx. We're going to do a prediction with this... Uh, with the printable. Since uh, we didn't get to do any predictions. Let's do... Is there a critter in the pod? Yes, no. You got... Two minutes. Get your predictions in. Is there a critter in the pod? Oh, a drink by Just Not Overthink. Thank you very much. Three hundred kilos. Oh, look at all the water. Let me let it drop off. Avenger, how was your evening? Welcome. Do not resist, you are being avenged. Very nice, I like it. I like it. Welcome Photonic Jester and VA, the V Avenger, Avenger. I appreciate you. Do eggs count as critters? Uh, yes. It's a critter egg. There's a critter inside the egg. So we're gonna say yes. All right, this is coming. Oh, oh, oh. All right, sweet. We got steam and everything else in here. It's only 45 degrees, though. Not very hot. Oh, I also still need the uh, thing, don't I? In case I want to open it manually. Yeah, that should be fine. No, that shouldn't be fine. We better build it out of steel. Look at that. We're up to four and a half tons of steel again. How am I going to... Let me open this door. Can we open this, please? Does mayonnaise count as an instrument? <laughs> I don't know. That's a great question. Aww. Unpaid intern. Oh, let's go check on Liz, by the way. Oh, Liz is not even in the bed anymore. They've improved. Alright, so that can shut now. Once we get a dupe out of there. Actually, let me open this up. I don't want any of that steam in there. I don't know what we're ever going to do with all that water. There we go. Now they can pick all the water up. So, so far we've injected a little bit of heat. You can see the water's up to 34. Oh, they're still picking up the water bottles. Sweepy. What happened here? Oh, when the doors opened, it was too much. It was too buku. Do I have to put another one in here? This is ridiculous. Let's separate it. Uh... 
Uh, how am I going to do this? Ducey Main in with the follow. I appreciate you. Slobby Greek says, are you trying to harvest heat from the rockets? Yeah, we're, we're doing some experimentation. Oh, this is so nasty. All right, how do we get this over there now? I need that line to go up and over there. Okay, I got it. Then I can do this. And then we can connect it just like that. So then I can finally get rid of this and be able to put in more of these. It's okay. We're, we're, it's gonna be okay. We're doing fine. Oh, the spaghetti. It's only a little bit of spaghetti. What's, who's scalding now? B-dubs, why are you in the sauna without a suit on? Because you got home from your rocket mission and you're like, ah, oh, I'm gonna go for a, a quick sauna. No. They should go home first. Yeah, see, 200 degrees. It's warming it up a little bit. It's just carbon dioxide really stinks. I'm hoping takeoff does a lot better. All right, now I have this next one in here. Oh, this is incredulous. Yep, that's the word I used. Incredulous. I don't know. Leave me alone. <laughs> I know how to party. <laughs> yeah, you do. All right, so... This needs to be steel. Let's go, like, halfway. Separate it there. Pie effect. Is, who's sending out a green... Oh, I have it open. That's why. I guess the dupes are coming in here to get the water manually from the sweepy docks. I mean, that's not bad. I'll take it. Uh, we still got to do this. Somehow we melted some steel. Because of course we did. Let's try it that way. Who likes the party? This igneous rock is down to 100 degrees. Oh, it's so glorious. <laughs> Daddy cooked dupe man skeddy again. She also wants to see B-dubs because she thinks in the Minecrafter. Thinks he's the Minecrafter. I do not believe he is. <laughs> Unless something has escaped me for about a year. Beautiful. It actually, it might even help if I just get rid of while we're in here. Turn them into debris. Yeah. And wait for the rest to uh, solidify. Yeah, like uh, Czar says, it'll also cut the mass in half. Yay! Who knows, yo? In with a gifted sub. This one went to Deucey Main. Thank you, Kevin. 
But we've talked about this, haven't we? I thought we talked about this. Another gifted sub. This one went to Czar. <laughs> you can't stop me from giving friends emotes. Oh, I know. I'm just going to throw it right back at you. All right, we got a rocket back. Now I want to see what this thing is capable of. Oh, we have all these wonderful artifacts. We got a wristwatch. We have an office mug. Already an office mug. A little sandstone-y action. A robot arm. And the monolith. The small obelisk. All right, now let's see if this will work. You know what? I only need to do one one test flight because if the heat doesn't heat this up this this time, then we just have to raise this floor. View interior. Uh, we got a full load of oxalite. For some reason, a bunch of steel. I don't know why we have... Why do we have all this steel? What kind of materials did we get here? Where are my materials? Oh, fullerene! We need to drop that fullerene somewhere. Hopefully rare resources are checked. They are not, so I will go down here. Actually, where do I want to put my fullerene? I want to put them in a separate spot. Specials. More lead. <laughs> the floor is too far, says Kansas City Shuffle. I was hoping the exhaust, exa exhaust gas would be good enough to do it. But yeah, I'm th starting to think it's not. Is this good? Yes. Gas. That's not bad. All right, let's go. Crew up. Missing a floor under the blast shot. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I had to do that to build something. Are we in? We are in. You can might as well keep that on because you're just going to orbit. And then you're coming back. Yeah, it's just the carbon dioxide. All right, so what we can do is we can destroy Sweepy. We can send them into the ether. Then we gotta get rid of this conduction panel. Why are half the doors closed? Because the doors wires keep melting and all that kind of stuff. Let's see what happened this time. Yep, this one right here. This one for some reason's holding on, but these two are not. It's weird. All right, so that conduction panel can go away. All right, how did that happen? I suppose I can just do this. And then second first, same as the first. Whee! First dupe cruelty, then sweepy cruelty. If we did it your way, chat, We'd never get anything accomplished. We'd spend all four hours. 
doing dupe manicures. Oh, we got a pod prediction. All right. Is there a critter in the pod? 143,000 echoes says yes. 40,000 says no. There is not a critter in the pod. Uh, we will take some barbecue over to the second planetary go. Choose outcome. No. <laughs> Kevin says, yes, there is. It's cooked. They have 15,000 calories. They will be... They will be happy to have some nice barbecue. Barbecue is not a critter. Meat is not a critter. It's a byproduct. <laughs> Zoldan says, which critter? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Oh, look at this, chat. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Barbecue is an evolved critter. <laughs> Capo. All right, where are we? Where am I? Oh. This is almost done. Oh, man. I guess it's fine now. Because this is where we are going to be building them. Utilities, sweepy. A sweepy one, a sweepy two. That reminds me of a movie or something. All right, so it's gonna come in there. It's gonna go down through here. Ew. It's gonna come in here, go through here. So that's gonna be removed. This is gonna be removed. What does that remind me of? Something Little Chick and Sassy Chick used to always say. This is Spidey 1. This is Spidey 2. No. Freddy? Freddy Jr.? I don't know. But you get the point. Alright, so we can come in here. No, we're going to come in here. Then go in here. Then go in here. And then go right here. Whoop. There we go. Oh, this is backwards. Because of course it's backwards. Untrapped sweepies are the best. Oh, sweepies are the best. I thought we were again complaining about the sweepies. Casey says, now I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry too. It's almost time. I thought I asked you to deconstruct that. Just gotta flip it. Flip it real good. Dun, 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 dun. All right, out, in, out, in, out, in. Boom. Uh, as long as that conduction panel is not transferring to this diamond. Uh, is it? No, because that petroleum is 19 degrees. It's just transferring it with the environment here. Uh, this is going to be a problem with these sweepies. Because now if this diamond gets too hot, the sweepy dock's actually sitting on the diamond. So it is changing temperatures with it. All right, buddy, you can come home. Make the mess. That wasn't a lot at all. Get back in there. 
Now you can go on a real trip. Go get more floor, um, fullerene. Fullerene! Begin launch sequence. Oh no, it's an empty Peggy. We've seen it live. It's an empty Peggy. Now it's time for Peggy the 13th. It's a little bit of heat. Not a lot. Is this Neutronium? I think so. Genetic ooze, no. It is so little. So little heat. I am I'm a little concerned that the buildings are transferring with it. Oh, where was this going? Oh man. Okay, so we gotta redo this. Oops. <laughs> Oh, yeah, these are all the artifacts. Hmm. <laughs> Zoldan, they're talking about you again. <laughs> Look, there's a new Peggy. Oh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't look like it's transferring. This window's tiled now 64 degrees. Oh, uh, but all these hot materials will be transferring through the diamond window tiles. Don't love that. I guess it still goes through our little chiller. So not a big deal anyways. Would it help any to build their charging docks off to the far left? Yes. But I don't think it's working now anyways. I don't think it's transferring that heat anyways, so it's fine. Yeah, I think we're okay. But yeah, that would be a good idea. Um, So far, so good. I mean, look at all this. Delicious obsidian with no magma. Now all we have to do is cross right over using the same method. <laughs> is this one Peggy 14 now? Might be. I wish we could name or at least number the Peggies. Uh-oh. This is dirt, sand from the polluted water. This is how we get dupes killed, for real. Look at it filling everything. Whee! It's fine. I got all day. Not really. Uh, what's the picture today? Because this is not the picture. This was kind of like an eh. But we can at least um, crew everybody up. And everybody go get some fullerene. Because right now... This still has 32 tons of mass. I want all the super coolant. Change the destination. You can go over here. Change the destination. Gary Snail 47, welcome. Appreciate you coming by. Change the crew. Nope. Don't want to change crew. Just want to change the destination. And begin launch sequence. Begin the launch sequence. Oh, yeah. We just crushed the sweepy. Yeah, the door system, not worth it. Yeah, it'd be great to trap some of this carbon dioxide in there, but... Not worth it. 
I will call this experiment, uh, experiment no. Buildings, goodbye, means we don't need you. It'll just be passive. Whenever the rockets take off, uh, which also means uh, no sweepies down here. So we can just cross it right there. All of the stuff, um, all everything will be loaded manually here. Which stinks because this is where we're getting all of those. Well, I guess, no, everything's sitting inside the rocket, so the dupes have to grab that manually, anyways. Sweepy safety is our number one priority, says Casey. We still have lots of sweepies. Just not here. Deconstruct all this. All that. All this, too. Absolutely. A lot of waste of materials. Look at all of it down there. It also means I don't need this anymore. Look at this. We finally have some steam, though. 90. 60. Not shabby. Or let's say 90-20. So it'll keep it in there. <laughs> Pretty good. I think we would end up going in here and grabbing our materials. Which means that'll have to be a ladder. Right there, that's fine. Made it from Bodland to say hi before bed and I see sweepies blowing up. <laughs> Welcome back, Gilbert Prince. I mean, another day, another dollar. Picture of empty hospital beds since security is a priority. Oh. Or maybe something like this. <laughs> oh. Yes, this is good. This is this is it right here. Uh oh, screenshot. Three, two, one. Uh, cheddar! We'll go back here for just another minute. I want to clean this mess up before we go. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Um, that's fine now. We can bring that back down. What is this? Conveyor? Oh, conveyor rail. Whoa, what is... Oh, that's a bridge. I was like, why is this connected there? Recapture all those. Delicious materials. Which does remind me of the fact that we do have a lot more ores now. Of course, we didn't scoop them out of the rockets, but that's not a big deal. <laughs> Self gets a cheesecake. Mozzarella sticks are not a type of cheese. <laughs> Don't you need to insulate the obsidian now that it's been exposed? Insulate the obsidian. Uh, yeah, we could. We eventually probably will. Um, yeah, that's probably smart, because right now we're just transferring more into it, too. Good call. Yeah, especially considering it's just going to slowly heat all the steam back up.
Oars is not what my ears heard, says Miss Shay Shay. <laughs> oh. oh, behave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby! Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, what did we ever have this guy for? Oh, it was part of this cluster. The little wheezwort that could. Oh, I'm hungry, chat. I'm gonna find something yummy to eat. Absolutely. I need the yummies in my life. Beautiful. Chat, I had a great stream today. We had a phenom... Yeah, not a Big Mac. One Big Mac a month? That's about it. Probably one Big Mac every three months. And I'm, and I'm set. Pumpkin Pie had Chinese. 10 out of 10. Very nice. Ed, I'll see you on Friday, my friend. That is a reference to a book called The Little Engine That Could. I am aware. <laughs> Abby is waving. Bye, Abby. I hope you have a great day, Abby. Good sleeps? Yeah. I'm supposed to be in bed in like two hours. There's no way I'm falling asleep in two hours. I might have to suck it up with some melatonin. No, 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 don't go in there. I might have to suck it up with melatonin, even though I do not like waking up from melatonin. It doesn't, it doesn't make me feel good. Remember you got raid one, raid two, or raid three if you were unsubbed. Let's go find out who we're gonna say hello to. So stick around for a minute. That way you can watch some credits. Show some love to someone else. Who is on? Who is on? Got it. Oh, we weren't even playing the dupe making music. Boop, boop, boop. Let's go raid channel button. I appreciate everybody coming out today. Make sure you show some love to the mods and to each other. Because without a good community, the stream just does not work. So much love to all of you. Remember, I will not be streaming on Friday or Sunday, but I will be back on Wednesday. Look forward to Friday's video and uh, please give it a watch. I would appreciate it. It's an important, uh, it's an important video. All right, Salford Sal playing some Timberborn is who we're going to say hi to. The raid is up. I'm going to run these credits and I will, uh, I'll see you next time.